Amini! Amini! She must be around here somewhere. And I've got to find her. She's the only one who can help me find the lost treasure. Uh-oh. Somebody's coming. I better hide. Come on. Let's hurry up, okay? I'm coming. I'm coming. You just want to get home so you can play your video games. Absolutely. Video games about pirates. Pirates? What foolishness. I think they're cool. Look, in my new game, I get to sail a pirate ship, fire a cannon, fight duels with sabers, even find buried treasure. Find buried treasure? You couldn't find a treasure chest if you were locked inside of it. Sure I can, but stay away from the water, okay? You know you can't swim. I don't want to have to fish you out again like yesterday after you fell in. I didn't fall in. You pushed me in. Same difference. If only you agreed with me, we'd be home right now playing with our new dog. Or cat. They always look like they'd rather not be bothered. Absolutely. Way cool. Help me! Help me! Wow. Who are you? I'm Celestia. Whoa, scaly. <laughs> are you some kind of a fish or something? A mermaid, my dear. A mermaid. Aren't you supposed to be in the water? Well, yes. But I'm stuck. If you pull my arms, you'll be able to get me out. That's much better. Thank you. I was feeling awfully cramped. No room to wiggle your toes. I didn't know mermaids had toes. On land, we do. How else could we get around? I guess. We even wear high tops. Cool. How did you get stuck in there anyway? Well, I have a sister. Ugh, say no more. Sisters are trouble. No more so than brothers. Long ago, my sister Almanay and I were the best of friends. We spent our days racing whales, playing tricks on octopus, all the things children do. Not any children I know. And one day, we found a magic treasure chest. I thought we should share it, but Almanay wanted to keep it all. Sisters. Figures. We got into such an argument that she cast a spell and whisked the treasure away to a desert island. And there it sits today until she can figure out a way to get it all for herself. All mine, you know. Wow, your sister's got some temper. We'll say. That's not all. She's got two pirates helping her. Pirates? I like pirates. Like in my video game. Oh! These aren't video game parts. These are two of the meanest, nastiest, most ornery, ugliest, dunderheaded buccaneers you ever saw. But what about you two? If it wasn't for your help, I'd still be picking splinters out of my hindquarters. What kind of reward can I give you for rescuing me? What do you want more than anything else in the whole wide world? A dog. Yes. You can't agree, can you? Just like Amity and me. I just might be able to help, though. You mean with the treasure? What kind of treasure is it? Gold and jewels and stuff? With all that, we could get a dog and a cat. There are many kinds of treasure, my dears. For some people, it's gold. For others, well, it all depends on what you value. What's important to you? Like chocolate? Well, maybe. And a cat. Dog. I see you've still got a difference of opinion. Maybe this will help. The Mirror of Promises. What does it do? It tells you what you need to know when you need to know it. All you have to do is whisper the magic words. But remember, this is our secret. You mustn't tell anyone else how the mirror works. Promise? Promise. Now come close so only you can hear the magic words. You never know who might be listening. Uh, blast! I can't hear the magic words. And I bet that little doohickey would help me find the treasure. <gasps> Look, it's writing something. To learn the truth, you cast a spell and read the words the mirror tells. Summer, winter, rain, and snow, you wonder where your steps will go. That's cool, but can it help us get a cat? He means dog. But can it? We'll find your treasure, what matters most to you. If you follow its instructions and do exactly as it says. The magic island 
holds the key to mystery, truth, and fire. Inside the cavern, you will find your heart's secret desire. Is that magic island? To this island, you must go traveling without rest. Take a ship and sail beyond to satisfy your quest. But take great care and don't be long. Return before sun sets. If night finds you, then all's in vain. You'll never see your home again? Never see home again? I I'm not leaving my pirate video games for some boring trip. A ship? I can't go on a ship. There might be sharks. Sharks? I like sharks. I do too, on television, but not when I'm in the water with them. Besides, I don't even know how to swim. Is that true, dear? Not even a, a little? No. But you're okay in the bathtub. Sure, in the bathtub, but there are no sharks in the bathtub. You should learn to swim, then I could take you underwater. Oh, lots of fun. I could show you a few things if you want. How to dance a sailor's hornpipe with the hermit crab, or talk with dolphins. I'm not interested. Don't be so hasty. Hermit crabs are wonderful dancers, and dolphins tell some very funny jokes. No, I'm not going to any stupid island, and that's that. We neither. Sounds scary. Better than better. Then stay home so there's all the more treasure for me. But how can I get there? Hmm. I've got to get my hands on that mirror. And that magic spell. I'll fetch my first mate Lucky and come up with a plan. Ha <laughs> ha! <sighs> no luck finding the kids yet, Captain. I've walked up and down the beach and haven't seen so much as a crab. Are you sure they're the only ones who know the way to Almany's treasure? It's not Almany's treasure, Lucky. It's our treasure, you blundering fool. Well, uh, technically, it's a... Uh, Nobody's treasure until we get to that desert island where she's hidden it. <laughs> uh, the Isle of Possibilities. You'd be ours once we claim it. Is it yours? <laughs> What's that? Think anybody's seen us? What'd you say? Oh, I, I said, do you think anyone's seen us? I, I can't hear you. What'd you say? Do you think anyone's seen us? Seen us? Of course not. But if you keep yelling like that, they'll hear us for sure. I thought I saw someone watching. From over there. My hair? Oh, not your hair. Over there. What is it about my hair? Or not care? Why would I not care about my hair? You, what do you think I am, a fashion model or something? I like the way my hair looks. Ugly. Listen, there it is again. Ugly. Ugly! Blackbeard's hair is ugly. What do you mean, ugly? Don't you like my hair? I, I didn't say anything. Of course I like your hair. <laughs> it's just so, uh, hairy. <laughs> Blackbeard's got no beard. Blackbeard's got no beard. Ah, it's that crazy bird of yours. What did he say this time? Oh, uh, Blackbeard's got no fear. Uh-huh. Blackbeard's got no fear. Ah, uh, that's right. Shh. We've got to be quiet. Ah, uh, dang, sorry. I got so excited I clean forgot. All right. If we want to find the treasure, we've got to convince those kids to lead us to the Isle of Possibilities. We'll ask them real nice about the treasure. <laughs> and if they won't help us? Uh... Then we'll have to convince them now, won't we? <laughs> Ow! What a klutz! What a klutz! <laughs> Shut that mangy bird up, won't you? I don't understand why you don't have a platypus or for a for a pet or a kangaroo like an ordinary pirate. Oh, well, I wanted someone to talk to in case I feel lonely. Mm, someone to talk to is one thing, but mm, someone who talks back is something else entirely. So tell me. What are you going to do with your share of the treasure after we find it? Well, for one thing, I'm going to buy that birdcage and lock up that crazy parrot of yours. Good luck, buddy. Oh, she likes you. I hate Captain Blackbird. I hate Captain Blackbird. I thought you said she liked me. She does. She's just, uh, uh, playing hard to get. Well, maybe you better feed her a more balanced diet so she won't be so irritable. Pizza, three meals a day? The cholesterol must be the truth. Mm -hmm. She should eat 
fruits and vegetables. Stuff like that. Polly likes pizza. Polly likes pizza. Ah, uh, what can I do? The girl knows what she likes. <gasps> Aha! Aha? What do you mean, aha? Uh, he means aha! My young friends, that's a lovely little mirror you've got. Uh, maybe you'd let, uh, let us take a look at it. Oh no, that's ours. We got it from our friend Celestia the mermaid. I know, but it doesn't belong to Celestia. It belongs to her sister, Almini. No, it doesn't. I just like the treasure. You're the pirates you warned us about. Yes! But we're very nice. And we're not dunderheads. I'm not so sure about that. But we're not afraid of you. Uh, I'm the most kind-hearted pirate in the world. Ain't that so lucky? Well... Uh, come on, admit it. Who's got a kindlier heart than me? Come on, admit it. Who's got a kindlier heart than me? Kind-hearted. Kind-hearted. Balder Dash. Eh, remember how I was on the last voyage to f with fancy pants? Oh, oh yeah! But, uh, didn't you steal his pancake? Uh, well, uh, yes, I, I guess I did. But what about how nice I was to Waterproof William? Oh, you were pretty nice to him, I'll admit. <laughs> I was, wasn't I? Before you threw him overboard. Uh, I guess I did, didn't I? Uh, what about Sandy Nails? Oh, oh, uh, you stole his pancakes, too. Overboard! Blech. Everybody's so sensitive these days. I don't like them. Me neither. What do you uh, care about the gold mirror, anyway? Uh, we're planning a little trip to the Isle of Possibilities. I thought it might come in handy. <laughs> well, it's a gift from Slacia, and we're not letting it go. Give us that mirror! No! Hey, give it back! Ah, uh, don't worry. <laughs> we'll take good care of it. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Ah, uh, shut up, you overgrown chicken. Lucky, grab the children. Hey, let us go! Ah, uh, quiet. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I thought I smelled something burning. Hmm? Call the fire department. Maybe we should set them free, Captain. After all, we've got the mirror. But we need that magic spell. And I don't want anything keeping me. I mean, uh, uh, us from the treasure. I will never tell you. Well, how hard can a spell be? Ah, I've got one. Here it goes. Pickles, wiggles, vomits, glee. Treasure's bright for all for me. Tangle, spangle, oddbox, see. Transport all that gold to me. Ah, <coughs> <coughs> eh, nothing. Well, maybe this one. Dark of night, selfish heart. Take all I want, it's not. Stealing treasure from her here. Gold and silver now appear. Ah, blast it. Show me how to use the mirror promises. Never, we won't let anyone use our mirror. But we're not just anyone. We're your friends. You've got us all wrong. We don't want to hurt you. We want to help you. Uh-huh. How come we're tied up like this? Set them free. Ah, oh, sh- Set them free. Ah, oh, shut up, you mangy bird. Hmm. Uh, uh, maybe we should explain ourselves. We'll set you free as soon as you get to know us a little better. Understand us. Trust us. Listen to our story and judge for yourselves. A pirate's life live we to sail across the sea. To have such fun with second to none and do just what we please. I'm as lucky as can be. That's my name. I love to swim and play. My mate and I have a lovely time. Just the dolphins and whales and we. Blackbird is my name. You wonder how it came. I take great care of my single hair till my grow bill grows back again. Years ago, we sailed with our dear skipper. Our destination oh so far away. Eh. Our goal would make a dolphin flip a flipper. A magic island held us all in sway. The island promised us our heart's desires. What did we want? What would good fortune bring? The skipper said that love sets hearts on fire. But we were sure we wanted only bling. 
We knew we wanted gold, jewels, and treasure, since riches give one pleasure without measure. Adventures we survived and far we sailed. Uh, we found no gold though, so our mission failed. This time we sail with such a simple plan. Your children lead us to the isle again. For only treasure really makes us pant. <sighs> About those riches, we both rave and rant. We want gold! We want jewels. We want treasure! See what I mean? What could be clearer than that? Now I really don't trust them. Me neither. Set them free! Set them free! Here's what I suggest. We all want to go to the Isle of Possibilities, right? But what if I give you your mirror back? Okay. Provided that you show us the way. I don't know. Maybe we should go with them. They do have a ship. I guess so. Untie us. Oh, sure. We're partners now, aren't we? It's not like we have any choice. You kidnapped us. Kidnap. Kidnap. He invited you. Uh, firmly. And now to show good faith, I'll return you your mirror. Thanks. Now, all aboard the ship! Lucky, hoist the mail mainsail! Aye, aye, Captain! Where should we set our course? We better ask the mirror, pro mirror of promises. Okay, I guess. The mirror of promises says to go west. I wonder which direction that is. Uh, I'm thinking that way. Well, what about this way? Well, well, you, well, you see that island? It's green. And green is my favorite color, so that must be a hint. That must be the way to go. But there's lots of green islands, like that one or that one. You can't navigate like that. Listen to the boy. Listen to the boy. Oh, <laughs> Navigate. Big word. <laughs> uh, you know, Blackbeard, I don't think you can navigate like that. <laughs> uh, whatever that means. Of course. Don't be ridiculous. Of course I can navigate. I'm the captain, aren't I? Uh, it says so right here. See, Captain Blackbeard. You know you're that much of a beard. <laughs> You think you're so smart, then you navigate a ship. Navigate needs to steer, guide, or control movement by turning a wheel or operating a rudder. Uh, there's the rudder. That's one smart bird. Hmm. I know what a rudder is, and I can steer. I'm the captain. I'm sure you can steer, but in what direction? My favorite color's periwinkle. Maybe we should steer towards that cloud over there. It's Periwinkle. <laughs> We're doomed. We're doomed. Periwinkle? What kind of color is Periwinkle? Now you're coming up with all sorts of big words. Where'd you learn that? In school? Oh, no. I had an old auntie once. Very kind. She liked Periwinkle. Uh, it's sort of a um, purplish bluish or a, uh, or a bluish purplish. Huh. I always forget. She made me tea and crumpets. <laughs> tea? Crumpets? Pirates don't eat crumpets. Oh, they would if they could get them. Crumpets are tasty as the dickens. <laughs> uh, we're drifting off the subject here, Lucky. Now, one thing at a time. Now, the mayor told us that we need to go west, so we need to know which direction is west. I mean, how can we figure that out? We can use a compass. Clearly, you have one on board. I don't know. Did you bring one? Me? I thought you brought one. Okay, smarty pants. If you think you know everything. Now, how do you read a compass? Easy. The needle always points north, toward the North Pole. Oh, oh where Santa Claus lives. Really? Well, um, you know, maybe we should go there. <laughs> okay, please. Oh, you got the focus. One thing at a time. After we get the treasure, then we'll go to the North Pole and visit Santa Claus. He'd love it if we brave gave him some gold. Santa Claus doesn't need gold. Wealthy man. Wealthy man. Well, 
I think he'd like it if we gave him some crumpets. Oh, you and your crumpets. You're a crumpet. Uh, can we get back to the compass? But like I was saying, the needle always points north. To Santa Claus. Oh, and uh, I guess the reindeer are there too. Uh, Donner and Blitzen and Rudolph and Algernon and- Algernon? Santa doesn't have a reindeer named Algernon. Now will you please pay attention? You kids think that a compass is more reliable than sailing toward my favorite color? Oh, oh, we could vote. Pirates always sail under a charter. You know, a uh, kind of agreement. We vote on things like uh, where we're going to sail. We even vote on who's going to be captain. What? And... Oh, oh, don't worry. Don't worry. If you want to be captain, you'll have our vote. Well, I am captain. Oh, uh, of course. Of course you're captain. All in favor of doing what the compass says and sailing that way west, raise your hand. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm glad we settled that. Boy, it's tough being captain, making all the important decisions. <laughs> Blackbird's got a noodle brain. Noodle brain. Blackbird. Yeah, come here, you, you rainbow retorsory. So... Uh, have you sailed with Blackbeard before? Oh, sure. Uh, the first time with uh, Captain Defoe. Oh, he was a wonderful captain. But don't mention that name around Blackbeard. There was a uh, incident with... With what? Treasure? Gold? Chocolate. Chocolate? What happened? As you probably know. Sailors eat a lot of sea biscuits, and there's a reason why they, why they call sea biscuits hardtack. They're really hard. Yuck. Uh, they do take some getting used to, but on special occasions, the crew gets chocolate. Now, Captain Defoe stored all the chocolate for the voyage in his cabin, and no true blue jack tar would ever steal chocolate from his fellow crewmates. But one day, some bars of chocolate went missing. Missing? That's terrible. Well, the crew started to murmur, ready to mutiny. But the captain found out who stole the chocolate. Blackbeard! No! Ooh. So, the crew met in council, evaluated the efforts, eating some of the chocolate, which was quite delicious, of course, and decided on a punishment. Did they make him walk the plank? Oh, worse than that. You see, Blackbeard isn't the captain's real name. Not? No. His real name is Archibald Murgatroy Canupstance. He's in type. He got the name Blackbeard because back then, well, he had a great big bushy black beard. Whatever happened to it? As part of his punishment for stealing the chocolate, the captain had Blackbeard shaved. Oh no. Oh yes. And that's still not the worst part. It gets even worse. That's right. After they shaved off Blackbeard's beard, oh, it never grew back. That explains why he's always in a bad mood. Exactly. Deep down inside, Archibald is actually the kind-heartedest guy you'd ever want to meet. You can't trust him with your chocolate, but um, other than that, he's a fine sailor. But after being shaved, he's become grumpy. That's a shame. I wish... Oh, look lively, you scalawags! The storm is rolling in! It's getting... The wind's getting mighty fresh! <gasps> Oh, it looks like there's a hurricane coming on! Oh, uh, reef the sails! Uh, lower the boom! Everyone put on life jackets! Oh, Riley! Be careful near the rails! Hold on tight or you might... <gasps> Riley! Oh, man overboard! Uh, uh, that is, uh, oh, a woman overboard! Oh, I mean, a uh, uh, Riley overboard! <laughs> Know how to swim, Riley? Ah, uh, she'll just have to take care of herself, my lads. At least you're still on board with the mirror. We've got our own problems. All hands on deck. All oh, hands on deck. Captain. Are we already on deck? What do we do about Riley? We've got bigger problems, lad. If the storm blows us off course, we're lost forever. Talk to your mirror, boy. It's showing me a map. Keep us on course, Charles, or we're goners. 
What about Riley? Bumble. 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 Wow. They can breathe. This must be what fish do when they breathe underwater. It really works. Oh. Oh. Just a little spell. Also, you must enunciate, my dear. Enunciate. I'm glad you're all right, dear. I've been following you, hoping to keep you out of trouble. Well, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for saving me. There is just one teeny tiny itty bitty issue I was hoping you might help me with. Oh, and what's that, my dear? Have you decided you want to learn to speak dolphin after all? Good decision, as I said, they tell the funniest stories. No, not that. I still can't swim. Oh, learning to swim is a snap. All I've got to do is think like a fish. But I don't want to be a fish. You understand, don't you? Oh, of course I do, my dear. Nothing wrong with fish. But after all, most folks who weren't born fish don't want to become fish. Now, let's see. Hmm, how would you feel about being a giant squid? They're pretty fast and very smart. A squid? No way. All those tentacles? I don't think I could handle that. Then how about becoming an eel? They're very fast swimmers. I don't want to be an eel. They're yucky. Okay, okay. I've got just the thing. How about this? <laughs> wow! You made me a mermaid! Look at my tail! I'm just like you! It's perfect! As long as I can change back when I want to. Oh, simplest thing in the world! Just step out of the water and you're a girl again! Although, I have to say, after spending time as a mermaid, you may want to consider staying that way. Say before it not pass. First, I'd better just find Charles. Um, no worries. Just keep heading that way, and you'll find your brother in no time. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks. Mopping the same floor in the same place for two hours now. This is boring. <laughs> I miss Riley. Uh, you haven't been mopping the floor. You've been swabbing the deck. That's what pirates do. They swab the deck. It's good for you. It builds your character. All the great pirates throughout history have swabbed the uh, deck. You ever heard of Captain Kidd? How about Anne Bonnie or Mary Reed? Two of the most famous female pirates in the world. What about Jack Sparrow? Yeah, uh, I'd never heard of him. To the Caribbean. Polly, what are you doing? Hungry. Where did she get pizza in the middle of the ocean? Uh, who knows? Ordash, I guess. Tasty. Mm, tasty. Mm, uh, well. Maybe you won't learn anything from swabbing the deck. How about practicing climbing up the main? <laughs> no, not that. Uh, how about, well, how about if you, well, you did get tired after a few dozen climbs. You have no stamina. Well, how about if we play with the shark again? No. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> I could we maybe practice dueling. <laughs> really? Yeah. I dueling all the time in my video game. Ah, oh, then you wouldn't mind making a real little wage on the outcome of our duel now, would you? I mean, I could bet this. <laughs> Sweet, delicious, mouth-watering piece of chocolate. Chocolate? Okay, then. Of course, Charles. But if I'm going to wager my chocolate, you've got to wager something, too. How about if you tell me the spell for the magic mirror? The mirror promises? If I lose, Riley'd never forgive me. Lose? You? Oh, a dueling? <laughs> oh, don't make me laugh. I'm just asking you to bet because it's part of the rules. I'm pretty much giving you my chocolate just to see somebody as skilled as you. Duel. 
Well, you might learn a thing or two watching me. Um, but but no. Oh, that's a shame. It would have given us something to do. I guess if you don't want to do it, well, then you can uh, go back to uh, swabbing the deck. Swabbing the deck? You, you mean washing the floor? Call it what you will. It'll be only for a few more hours before sunset. You'll probably make it all the way to uh, here before you start all over again tomorrow. Start over? Tomorrow? <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, let's duel. Bad idea. Bad idea. If you insist. But if you win, as I'm sure you will, you get the chocolate. And if I win, I, you will tell me the secret to the magic spell. Okay? Deal. Uh, now, now, tell me the magic spell. Well, that's not fair. Does it matter? I won. Now give me the mirror. Never. I'd rather throw it overboard. There. Now no one will ever have it. Hey, you'll walk the plank for that and be shark dinner. Now walk. Technically, he's going to be shark lunch. It's still way too early for dinner, don't you think? Uh, absolutely. Too early. You'll be his lunch. <laughs> shark food. Shark food. Wait. I remember what was on the map. What's that you say? I can get us to the island. Oh, uh, you best not be lying. What's back to the edge of the plank you go? Now, which way do we set our course? What an interesting place. The land of lost socks. That explains where all my missing socks have gone. Every time I help with the laundry, no matter how many, how many pairs I put into the wash, when I'm finished in folding them, there are always one or two socks missing. Who are you? That's a good question. A question many people have asked in Psycho Pie. <laughs> many different names, in many places. Everyone speaks of me, but no one knows my name. <laughs> people say, if you can catch her, shut her up. <laughs> but nobody can. Nobody can shut her up, that's for sure. Talks a lot, must be trouble. Why are people trying to catch you? What do you want? Um, treasure. What else? Uh, treasure is sparkly, and it's all mine. Salacia's treasure? My treasure? You seem to be in an awful hurry to get somewhere. Me? Don't tell me that you are law. Okay, I won't. I can help. No thanks, I've got to find my brother. Oh, um, I, I know your brother. Yes, you can trust me. I am his best friend. I would never lie to you. Hmm. Is that the truth? Yes. That you're Charles' best friend or that you'd never lie? Uh, yes. Which one? Which one what? That you'd never lie about telling the truth? Uh, no, no, no. I would never do that. So are you telling me the truth when you say that you'd never lie about telling the truth to someone to whom you told the truth about telling a lie? Is that the truth? Uh, yes. No. I think so. Oh, I'm so confused. My head is spinning. Oh, mine is so complicated. It's much easier just telling the truth. The Mirror of Promises. What's it doing on the ocean floor? Oh no, what if Charles got into trouble with the pirates? That's my mirror. Give it back! No! Come on, Riley! Swim! Get over here, you! You must get back to Charles! You're doing it! You're swimming! I'm coming, Charles! Hurry up there! <laughs> I can't see where I'm going. Well, you tried to escape. Good escape, good escape, such a clever boy. Can't, I can't see now. Oh, too bad, let me help. Could even sail the ship straight, crashing into those rocks. 
And how are we ever going to get home? I'll figure that out. Now walk. Oh, no. Charles, help me, Mir. The wind, it's a breezing, and the air, it's a freezing. But something's a happening, you must be sure. You won't find it pleasing. Your sides, you'll be squeezing. Your throat, you'll be seizing because of your sneezing. What you? What you? What? what hey, what's happening? What you? Sneezing. Uh, it uh, must be my allergies. <laughs> uh, allergies on a desert island? Uh, maybe I'm sand. Sand? <laughs> Don't oh. be ridiculous. Charles! Really? It's so good to see That's you. you. It would be if I could, you know, see you. Hey, what are you doing here? Achoo. Oh! Oh, I'm so glad you're safe! Charlie's back! Charlie's back! What's going on? You! He lost the mirror promises overboard. Achoo! I found it on the ocean floor. Yeah. Ah, the mirror! Achoo! Oh, oh, then we can still find the treasure! Ah, the mirror will show us the way! Achoo! Get me out of here! Achoo. Oh, and please stop the sneezing! Achoo! Oh, oh, now, now uh, well, show us the cavern of secret desires. Do Don't do worry. Now? I've got a plan. Look! Over there, a coconut tree. Charles and I are just going to pick some delicious coconuts to eat for lunch. Mm, oh, that sounds good. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, wait a minute. How do you know we won't, how do we know you just won't run away? We'd never run away from you, Blackbeard. Of course not. A pirate as smart, brave, and debonair as you? Aw, oh, shucks. Debonair. <laughs> we just want to help you find your treasure. Hmm. Now, time it moves from past to present, but actually forms a giant crescent. Round and round from now to then, a future is our now again. All things move from front to back. Scrambling makes words meaning lack. Make it hard, their words to tell. Cast a backward speaking spell. Well, a go they did where? What? what? Kids, though. Uh, we that run them, did you see? <sighs> escape, uh, escape, escape, escape. You're crazy talking, you're. Me? <laughs> to you? Uh, backwards talking, you're. Backwards talking? Oh, ridiculous, be don't. What's them? What's them? Uh, uh, strict they. Uh, them, follow, let's. <gasps> Children to follow. Follow, follow. Okay. I think we're safe. Run away! Run away! Danger! Where ah! are Polly? Okay, quick, Riley, uh, let me try another spell. Uh, of trouble, you will have a batch. Pains and woes forever catch. Evil plots you try to hatch. In plotting, you have met your match. Once you step onto this patch, <laughs> all you'll ever do is scratch. There they are! Let's get them! Ah, what the? Oh, oh, I'm itching like crazy! Uh, having mosquito bites and poison ivy at the time! Oh, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours! Oh. Look! The Cave of Secret Desires! Hmm. I guess we gotta open this lock if we're gonna get a cat. You mean a dog. Ah, gotcha! Wow, that's the biggest combination lock I've ever seen. <coughs> this must be where the treasure is. We're going to be rich. Rich, rich. This could be tricky. I think we should work together. I don't want to help them. Leopard boy, leopard boy. Well, we don't want your help either. We're pirates. We can do this all by ourselves. It's easy, very easy. Simplest thing in the world. Oh, it is? Oh, <laughs> good. I was worried there for a second. <laughs> All we have to do is figure out the uh, right combination. Right. Uh, we're going to need a bunch of numbers, you know, like um, whatever it is that we don't know yet, to the left, and then something else that we don't know yet, to the right, and then uh, another, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, to the left, and then another... I know how a combination lock works. Look, the mirror's writing something. 
I don't think it needs a combination. I think it's a riddle. Oh, what can you take anywhere you want to go without moving you at all? Hmm, maybe a giraffe. A giraffe? How can a giraffe take you anywhere where you want to go without moving you at all? I don't know. Uh, it's just the first thing I thought of. You know, a giraffe. They're uh, they're tall. They got big tongues, long legs, and a uh, giraffe. I know what a giraffe is. You need a hint. You need a good hint. It's something that you have at school. No, it's definitely a giraffe. Yeah. Oh, or a uh, a basketball hoop. You know, uh, the circle that you know what a basketball hoop is. Oh. Another hint. Another hint. Uh, you find it in a library. Oh, oh, I've got it this time. A giraffe reading a book. Oh, uh, or a uh, or a librarian. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Those are um, nice people with the eyeglasses and the cats, and they're always telling me, shh, you can't eat that in here, and uh, helping me find picture books. Yeah. Maybe we should work together. Oh, so now you're nice to us. We might want to help them. The sun's setting, and we don't want to get stuck on this island forever. Plus, we do want to get our pet. I'm tired of just reading books about pets. Wait, a book! That's it. Well, that's right. A book. It can take you anywhere you want to go without moving you out of your chair. Uh, how about this one? You all know what a nation is, right? Kind of giraffe? A nation is a place where people live. America's a nation. Mexico's a nation. Jamaica, China, lots of places are nations. Right. Well, it says uh, what nation is every kind of person creature, idea, or object that you can imagine. A nature, uh, a nation of anything I can imagine, huh? How about imagination? What's the most important ship in the world? A ship that takes you anywhere, but you can't sail it at all. Don't say giraffe. I'm sorry. You know, I, I was only trying to help because I'm your friend. My friend? Hmm. My friend. That's it. Friendship. Friendship. Uh, friendship. Uh, a friendship. friendship. As we friendship. <laughs> as we travel forth through life, our road will often bend through our troubles and through strife. We'll always need a friend. You're late for school, forgot your lunch, your bike has got a flat. But someone special comes along and fixes it like that. You tear your clothes, you have a hole, to trousers you must tend. But someone special comes along and snap, you're on the mend. We're all lonely from time to time. I wonder when it ends. That moment comes. The party starts when we all make new friends. Friendship, friendship, Holly wants friendship. Uh, I guess some things are more valuable than gold. Or diamonds. Wow, the chest is full of chocolate. Guess we get chocolate after all. Look the size of those bars. Plenty for everyone. Oh, oh, there's something else in there, too. What? Oh, I'm Rockman again! <laughs> Blackbeard's got his beard again. Blackbeard's got his beard back. <gasps> oh. Well, are you all right? You seem disappointed. So Lacey promised that when we got to the island, we'd, we'd get our pet. We'd better be getting out of here. Right. I want to sleep in my own bed again and play with my toys. Me too. I really miss mom and dad and our friends. And don't forget, we've got to be off the island before sunset. How are we going to get there? The ship got wrecked and Blackbeard sunk it getting to the island. Uh, technically, uh, the rock sunk it. Uh, yeah, so it wasn't really my fault. We'll never get home without a ship. Maybe someone will sail by and save us? You don't need a ship to return home. We don't? There are many ways to travel. Let me see. You could hold on to the back of giant eels. <laughs> a little slippery, but very swift. Eels, ew. Mm. Or you could walk across.
home across the bottom of the sea. Mm. I could find some dolphins to lead the way. But walking, wouldn't that take an awfully long time? Oh, you're right about that. Why don't you ask the mirror? Uh, the mirror. Hey, my chocolate. Our chocolate. That's what I said. It's gone. Seems like Blackbird still hasn't learned his lesson. He's up to his old tricks again. Oh no, not that! I'm out of here! Oh, what, what, hey, hey, wait for me! Come back here! No running with scissors. Come on, Charles, the mirror. If the sun sets before we leave the island, we'll never get home again. You know, we, we want to go home. Homeward bound you wish to be, safe and warm across the sea. Think good thoughts and work together, flying like birds of a feather. We're home! We made it. <gasps> What's that? Polly! 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 We can keep Polly as our pet. Hooray for Polly! Polly wants pizza! Polly wants pizza! <laughs>